I'm Kerry. Welcome to Build a Mind. Today we're going to do a short session on coding with Scratch. Scratch is a fantastic platform for your kids to learn how to code. It was created by MIT specifically to teach young children to use computers to get into coding. And one of the most wonderful things about it is that it's a community. So there are people out there actively taking an interest in your children's learning and growth. It is monitored very, very strictly and allows our children to go and see what other kids are doing and how they've actually created their code. Coding is a really important skill for our kids to learn. It brings in all the 21st century skills that are in great demand right now, things like collaboration, creativity, problem solving. The main thing that it does is brings together all of our STEAM subjects, such as science, technology, engineering, arts and maths, and it puts them all together in one place and gives our kids the opportunity to be super creative. It gives them the opportunity rather to just play computer games than be consumers of technology, they can actually go ahead and create their own games. So as an example, I'm just going to step into a very simple game that's one of the first types of games that we have kids creating. And we have kids as young as five creating code for a game such as this. In this particular game, we have three characters. We have our main character, which is our plant pot. We have a character that is, our characters are known as Sprite and our character over here is a watering can that our plant is trying to get to to get water. Every time he touches the watering can, he'll get a point. However, if the plant is touched by the kangaroo, who's our enemy, he will lose a point. This is what our code looks like. Let's have a look at the inside of it. When our code first starts, it has a trigger to actually start off the game, which is usually pressing on the green flag. So the starting point you can see over here is this little block where it says when our green flags clicked go to XY. That just tells my plant pot where he's going to start off at the beginning of the game. These little sections tell me when I click on my left arrow I want you to move left. When I click on my right arrow I want you to move right and up and down. Next block of code which is the most complicated looking code which is really quite simple just says that if you touch the watering can get a point. If the kangaroo touches you, lose a point. Each character is given its own instructions, much like I would tell one person a specific set of instructions and another person a different set of instructions. So our kangaroo, if I click on my kangaroo, he has his own set of instructions. It's got some very simple code. All it says is when I first start my game, so when my green flag is clicked, I want you to constantly move down the screen. If you get to the bottom of the screen, I then want you to go back to the top of the screen, but not in the same position you were at before, in a totally random position from left to right, and continue to fall down the screen. That way, my plant never knows where the kangaroo is coming from, and it makes the game a little bit more exciting because he has to try and avoid it. And our last character, which is our watering can, again, very simple code that it just says when my green flags click, so when my game starts, I want you to constantly move around the screen to random positions. Stay there for three seconds and then go to another position. That way, again, my main character never knows where it's going to be. So it puts a little bit of excitement into the game while the character has to run around trying to get to the watering can. So that's a very simple example of scratch and action. At Buildermine, we teach kids to code by creating games, and we teach them from four years all the way up to the end of their high school life. And we take them from drag and drop coding through to pure text-based coding. And it's really, really important for our kids to start young because coding is an absolutely everything that we see and do. We offer after school programs, school holiday programs, private lessons, and we even teach coding at birthday parties. So come along and join us.